Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Martina and this is the secret craft room. Today's video is not exactly a tutorial like my other videos. It's more of a showcase of when I made a giant Lego skeleton for my son. Please consider subscribing if you like my videos and also give my video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel out a lot. And without further ado, let's get into the video. This video is sponsored by Elegoo and I got their Neptune 4 Plus to try out and make a video with. This is my first time using a 3D printer and I must say that I am already in love. Since I filmed this project, I have used it for several other things as well. Neptune 4 Plus is their second largest 3D printer and the printing surface is really big. It can print up to 320 by 320 mm at the base and 385 mm at the height. It has many functions such as a clipper, high speed motherboard, dual gear direct extruder, auto bed leveling and 300 degrees celsius high temp nozzle. It is very easy to assemble and use which makes it beginner friendly. I did not show the assembling process because I didn't have enough room for the camera when doing it but there are a lot of great videos already that shows how to assemble it. My original plan was to make something totally different from what I ended up making and I wanted to create it totally from scratch in a 3D modeling software. However, it was a bigger task than I thought so I decided to use an already existing 3D file for this video. It took about a week to print all the parts for the Lego skeleton, mostly due to that I didn't want to print at night. I decided to use a rather fast printing setting for this project due to its size to reduce as much printing time as possible. Unfortunately, I did have a lot of issues with the 3D model. This is not due to the machine though, but due to the execution of the model itself. This resulted in that the pieces didn't fit correctly.
so I bought some plastic spackle to cover all the gaps. This was fairly easy to sand down and then I spray painted the whole skeleton white. To attach the legs I first put them in warm water to make the plastic a bit more soft and pliable and then I added them to the body. Unfortunately one of the legs cracked a bit but I fixed it with some more plastic spackle. As you can see the facial features didn't fit either and I also accidentally cracked the face a little bit. So I decided to paint it black instead. Even though using this exact 3D model was a bit of a fail, I still love this machine. Here you can see three little Halloween Pokemons I printed for my son. For these I used the highest quality setting and they are really smooth and the details are perfect. I will paint these using acrylic paints and show you how they turn out on Instagram. Have you ever tried a 3D printer? Do you want to? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe and give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.